Welcome to another episode of What RV Thinking. We thought today we should finally give you guys an interior reveal video. Uh, I know you've been waiting a long time. We've been working hard on it. It's not entirely done, but every renovation project takes time and you're always adding new things. So we do have some more ideas that we're gonna put in here in the next few weeks, um, but we didn't wanna keep you waiting. So without further ado, here she is. So here I am up in the driver's seat and we kept it pretty vintage up here, uh, just easier to not have to <laughs> redo everything up here. Um, so you get a little blast from the past up here, but then we transition into our fresh new interior. So I reupholstered all of the balances and this cover here with a nice tropical look. And these seats right here, again, didn't change because the upholstery is so great. These flip down into a twin bed. Um, actually, surprisingly, the two of us, um, being pretty tall, could, could squeeze in here. So more for kids. Everything has been painted white just to give it a fresh look. Uh, no more uh, mustard plastic back here in the living area. We did keep this uh, wood laminate on the uh, doors here with a nice little pop of green. Under here, we have gone with a dark gray for all the lower areas. So just kind of hide away a little bit. Um, and then we do have storage compartments here that we'll be using for various things in the RV. Tucks away very nicely. Onto the bathroom here. Um, still haven't done much as far as decorating inside the bathroom, but that's to come. Did give it a nice fresh white coat of paint. Same with the closet here. Haven't done much inside to update it, um, but it's closet and it functions well. Um, so more to come in there. I'm gonna hang some great mirrors inside there too, so you can get dressed. Over here in the kitchen, um, we kept the countertop. It's actually in really great shape. Uh, might be something that we update in the future, but for now it works great. We did want to make more counter space here, so we got some bamboo cutting boards. Just put some little feet in there to lock into the stove so when you drive around, they don't fall off. And then you can use this for counter space. We do have, still have to put the faucet in to make it a little higher. Oh, got some dishes in there. <laughs> that was my job, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. But again, just another cover here. Um, just to make a little more space. This towel rack, actually towel holder, actually came with RV, but now the color fits perfectly. So, <laughs> and even though it's a cheap plastic one, I highly recommend this. I don't know where you get this from, probably Walmart or anywhere. <laughs> any, anywhere, it's like the cheapest plastic um, towel holder, but it, it, it holds tight on the towel so you can rip off one without everything coming down on you. More cabinets up here. Um, we have to bring all the dishes. We've got some nice dishes that match all of the upholstery. Um, so those will go in here. Down here, we just gave everything a nice fresh coat of paint, kept the same refrigerator. It seems to be working really well, so that's great. There is a panel on the front that had um, matching wallpaper on it, of course. Um, so just pulled that out and gave it some paint. Cabinet down here, still haven't done inside either, but we'll get that. Now, if you come around to the side here, we do have another little cabinet. Gave that a nice pop of color. Same with the drawers in here. These bins came with the RV. Um, gave those a nice pop of color. We'll make those a little more organized, but probably keep utensils and everything in there. Now, back here in the lounge. Again, this table matches the countertop in fabulous shape. Maybe we'll freshen it up down the road, but it works great now cup holders have a nice pop of green and then just brought in some greenery these aren't real plants because we wouldn't be able to keep them alive unless we were here every day <laughs> um, so just some nice fake plants and lighting we love our pineapple lights here and then of course this now folds down into a full-size bed 
and we gave it a whirl one weekend. It's really comfortable. Um, so very excited about that. Just pop this table off. This table can also go outside um, and fits under our, our awning outside so we can use it when we're cooking outside or just hanging out up there. Now up here, we are keeping all of the bedding. I am gonna put a little curtain here just to hide it away. Um, but that's where all of the bedding and towels and all of that go. As you can see, I'm standing on a beautiful floor. So we got rid of the carpet in most of the van and we put in this nice laminate flooring here, have a nice wood look to it, just totally modernizes it. And we were lucky enough to find some edging here that just blends right in. Um, so very happy about that. Kept the carpet up front, uh, just a lot easier than doing, redoing everything up front. We did add a couple of fun little floor mats just to uh, bring the tro tropical theme back up here as well. So there you go. That is our interior reveal. Along with the interior renovations, we thought we should give her a name. So her name is Polly Vandelay. Polly for Polynesian, going for the Polynesian theme in here. Vandalay, well, it's sort of a van, and uh, if you are a Seinfeld fan like us, then you know where the name comes from. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned as we get her out on the road and go on more camping trips and uh, do more little updates here and there. We'll share those with you. Please like, subscribe, and you'll hear about all of them when they come out. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.